Hi guys, um, uh, today we are going to be drawing, drum roll please, brrr, a unicorn! I love unicorns, especially rainbow haired unicorns that we're about to draw. I talk a lot, so just, you know, be careful. Talkative people. I know one of them, but don't be careful of me. Actually I do. And anyway, let's get on with it. So, um, first we are going to be drawing the snout, not the nose. Snout. <laughs> Sounds like a pig. Um, so, so you just draw like a little C shape ish. Oh, my pencil just broke. C shape. Backwards C. Mm, smudgy. Smudgy. And then, from that C shape, you just want the top bit of the C, the backward C, um, to go a little bit further and then up. It might be a little bit fast, so just maybe, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna just move. My animal rubber. It's weird. So we drew the top head, right? Um, then from the top head, we're just gonna be going down. Make sure it's not like a straight line. Um. Okay. So once we've gone down. We, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, make it, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go from about like quarter way through the head, tiny bump, and then go all the way down by the hair, and stop at like the back, you know? And then you can draw little lines. Now this is gonna be a rainbow. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be rainbow, and then you might want to add a flower at the end or something, or right now while I'm talking, <laughs> whenever you get to. Um, and then you go straight from like where you left off, right? Mm -hmm. Looks weird. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna color it in, then people will know it's hair. <laughs> You just go straight, and then we're kind of going to go up for the bum. <laughs> right? Because, like, you know how they, horses, they, oh, it's hard to explain. Anyways, we're going to leave the tail for now. And after we've done the butt, the thigh, leg, and this, um, we're going to be going down. We're just going to kind of, like, Curve in and then go straight. Um, and then just go straight and up. And then go like, like curve out a little bit. I say like a lot, so beware of that also. So then we lift up our pencil there and we go a little bit down. And then we basically do it again. Make sure they're not like uneven, which mine are. That's why I'm giving you the tip. So you don't, it doesn't look as bad as mine. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. Um, yeah. And then draw a line going from the inside, the inside of the hoof is gonna be more up and then we kind of go down. Got like shoes. Anyways, and we're gonna color that in. I ain't gonna leave that for the end. Okay, so, right, remember? And then we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go here and stop. Like right, actually I'm gonna keep on going. Like right about, yeah, there. Mm -hmm. Looks. Mm -hmm. Anyways. From there, we're just going to be going back. 
one, okay? That's going to be the front leg. Well, one of the front legs, you know? It's gonna be kind of like lacking. Or yours, they can be galloping, but do walking. Nah, looks like a backward shoe. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so same again, but this time you go from the outside and you go down. Maybe like a little, like a little, like, ooh, flick at the end, maybe. I don't know. Do whatever you want, and I'm gonna cover in this hoof for some weird reason, and not that hoof. Anyways, right? Yeah, that looks weird. Anyways, and from that, you're going to go like that. We're going to go like a little there, a little like. And the out, let's just call it out. And then we're gonna go straight down from that. And then we're kind of gonna curve up for the, yeah. You know, right? Mm -hmm. And then do the same thing. You know where I'm going. You can kind of see it coming out. You're gonna be better once we add the little wings, maybe. You don't have to do that. It's horn, everything. You know. <laughs> you gotta be patient. I'm not saying you're just going, oh, what are we gonna get to the point? Anyways. Then we go from the C shape and we go all the way up. Sorry, it kind of skipped ahead. Um, then. We're gonna leave a little line there. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go down and then whoop, right? And then tail, of course. We've gotta have a tail. It's a drone without a tail. It's a pony without a tail. So we're gonna go up and flick. You might want to add some scrappy parts. I'm going to go down. I'm going to like... Hmm. And then you can add details. But that's going to be at the end. Anyways. Um, you can make this horse like... I'm going to color on the hooves. You can make this hooves... Blah, this horse... Um, walking on a cloud, or maybe even flying, but that doesn't look like it. Okay, so I may just fix up some problems. Okay, I'm just gonna make this a little wider. So if you have the same problem, just follow along of what I'm doing. I'm trying to be something. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that was your time to fix up things. Okay, so now we're gonna go all the way up to the head. We're gonna draw a little smile. And then it's gonna be really cool. Trust me, do the like ah. So you might want to be doing a pencil because we're going to rub out some of the things to make it look really cool. But if not, you can just leave it out. It is. I very loose grip. Hmm. Anyways, so I'm about halfway. I'm just going to go like that and make it bigger. And I'm gonna color that part in. And get your rubber. I'm gonna use that part. Eh, eh, the horn's about to fall off. 
see. And then if you kind of rubbed it off, you can just redo it. That's cute. Okay. It's going to look a lot better when we add the eyes, the horns, the front part of the hair, the fringish thing. Anyways. So then from where we started, the mane, so the mane's curling over the other way, right? Um, we're just gonna go, just gonna do basically the same thing, but then lift up and then keep on, I'm gonna do it over. Keep on going and then do, you know, the scruffs and stuff. And then for the ear, we're gonna go, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna describe that like the top of an eye? Mm -hmm. I don't know. An almond. Half of an almond shape. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And we're gonna go like that. Remember not to take up all the way. Don't let it touch the hair. Because we're gonna do a, an ear behind it. If I spoke too late, well, sorry. And then we're gonna color in that part. Right. Oh, I get so cute. Look at like a little pony. But it's not gonna be a pony. Cause it's gonna be a unicorn. Anyways. So, from the top of the hair, cause it's kind of, the, the hair's gonna go around the unicorn horn. And then, I'm gonna go like that. Draw a little horn or a big horn. You get to choose. Okay, I'm not gonna erase those smudges. I always make smudges. Why? Oh yeah, because oh yeah, because that part is snapped. Anyways, then you can add little lines to it. You can color it in however you want, but we're not done because we don't have a face. We don't have nose. We don't have a. We don't have eyes, mm -hmm. you know. So we're, for the eyes, we're going to do a big round circle just underneath the horn and the ears, right? And in that circle, we're going to draw a little, another circle, smaller. And then underneath, we're going to draw a tiny circle. And then I'm going to draw another littler circle. Let's put this like this, right? And then we can color it in. You don't have to draw that extra one. Or you, you can do the eyes however you want, but that's how I'm going to do them. Three shines. I call them shines an easy name for them so you don't have to say circles circles and then, you know. oh that looks so cute oh we for also forgot the wings well, we'll do that after the nose anyway so then you can add a little eyelashes as many as you want you don't even have to uh yep that looks so cute i can't resist it just want to be riding on the back of the unicorn on the clouds Anyways, um, so then you just draw a little circle for the nose. And that's not all the nose. And you just have to draw kind of like a A, but color in the A. Um, or an eye with an eyelash, a very long eyelash. Or something like that. A cow looks like a hedgehog. Like, the, that's the nose, that's the, anyways. Um, that looks so cute. We need to do the wings. So from the wings, we're gonna go maybe here. And we're gonna go up and around, right? Like that's for the top part of the wings. Wings, 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 wings. And then we're gonna go down and follow it along. And then do a bump and follow along. And then do a bump and follow along. And then a bump and you get the pattern. And you get the pattern, but then we're gonna go down. Kind of looks like a hand that has lots 
Lots of fingers. Luckily, we didn't have five. Anyways, and you can add some fluff, feathers, details, whatever you want to call them. All right. So, maybe this is your time to color in the hooves or do something to your picture. Um, but. I'm gonna fast forward it and color it in. Yay. So, see ya later. Okay, so this is what your unicorn should look like, maybe with different colors or something like that. Maybe it could be walking on a cloud. I'm gonna do the cloud now, because they're white. So bump, bump, bump. Okay, remember like to go past it. And then go stick and bump and bump and bump. Okay, my cloud goes out of the page. I mean, it has to have wings. If I could fly up to a cloud. I mean, look at that. That looks so cute. I'm good. I'm gonna erase all the. Pictures. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe. Bye.